Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. Three people sentenced for a brutal beating of a hotel security guard caught on videotape. It happened on the Big Island. We'll be getting a new trial. The appeals court decision comes on the heels of the four-year anniversary of that attack. Christy Tomashiro tonight with reaction from the victim's family in our top story. John Kanui's family tells me they're shocked and in disbelief after the Intermediate Court of Appeals decision last week. Definitely is a low blow for the family to now have to endure a retrial and relive everything that happened to him physically during that time and all the stuff that happened up to his passing. In 2018, Kanui, who was a security guard, responded to a noise complaint in a Kona hotel parking lot when three people attacked him, beating him until he was unconscious. The attack left Kanui paralyzed as a quadriplegic. A jury found um, the defendants um, you know, guilty. Um, Tata Latasi and Samoa were both found guilty as charge of attempted murder in second degree, and Laboa was found guilty of the included offense of assault in the first degree. But the Intermediate Court of Appeals says the prosecution violated rules during the trial by showing video of Kanui at a rehabilitation facility in Colorado. We never want a jury to decide that someone is guilty based on emotion or someone is not guilty based on emotion. The decision of guilt or not guilty needs to be made on facts and facts alone. Legal experts say it's rare to see a case get remanded for a new trial and it may cause challenges for the prosecution. Witnesses' memories will have faded. Um, they might not be as easily available or they might have moved away and have to fly back for the trial. Some other challenges that can occur is in having to put on a case where now they're not going to include the rehabilitation video and they're not going to make any reference to that. The Hawaii County prosecutor says they're extremely disappointed in the ruling and are considering challenging the appeals. Th this decision is not going to deter us from seeking justice for him and for his family and for the Kona community. Kunui's family says as hard and traumatic the new trial will be, they will be in attendance on behalf of their father. Christy Tom Shiro, K22 News, working for Hawaii.